let's just comment with that keyword price as an example and it should post here in a second there we go and now i'm going to go back and refresh this post and i'll see that response from chat fuel so there we go automatically it answers the user's question that keyword so it says the watch is 149 you can purchase it on our website great Hi there folks, Andrew at Chatfuel, and today we're gonna to be talking all about the comments auto-reply entry point for Instagram. Basically what this lets you do is automatically answer comments that you're getting on your Instagram posts. Now in the past, if you've used messenger automation and comments auto-reply there, you'll notice that the Instagram comments auto-reply entry point works slightly differently because you can't actually use a private reply, meaning you can't message someone automatically who comments on your post. Instead, you can only respond publicly in the thread on Instagram. Now, in the future, I imagine this will change, but for the time being in the Instagram beta, this is how it works. It only works with that public reply. But now that we got that housekeeping stuff out of the way, let's dive in and show you how to set this up because it still is an extremely valuable feature, especially if your goal is to automate frequently asked questions that you're getting. So here we go. What I've done here in Flow Builder already is just click this plus button up here and clicked add Instagram flow. So we've added a flow and now I'm going to collapse the side panel, which is optional, but I just like doing that because it gives me some more working space here. Okay. Now, as you might imagine, we're going to add the comments auto reply entry point by double clicking on the canvas and choosing comments auto reply. And here we have the various settings that we can configure to get this up and running. So first what we're gonna do is click where it says all posts here and choose specific posts instead. Now, this is optional. If you want, you can apply whatever keyword rules you're going to set up here in a second to every Instagram post. But in my mind, I prefer specific posts because this allows your responses that you're sending people to be more personalized, more tailored to the specific post that they're on, which is just overall a better user experience, right? So if you have a keyword set up for price where a user might ask a question about the price of your product, you obviously want that to apply in context to the specific post they're commenting on rather than just having a generic price rule for all posts, right? because obviously the prices of different products that you're promoting are going to be different, but that'll make more sense in a second. So long story short, let's click specific posts here and add the most recent post that we've created, which is this top one here. So I'll check that box and click choose. And there we go. So this is a post about a watch. And for the keyword group down here, this is where we can set up the different keywords that we anticipate users will type in the comments. And then we can obviously set up a response accordingly. So I'm going to click add keyword group here and let's type in something like price or cost, right? So if somebody asks a question like, what's the price of this? What's the cost, et cetera, then we can respond with an answer in the form of a comment in that thread. And just to show you how this works, of course, we could set up multiple keyword groups here as well, like if someone has a question about shipping. So now that we have these keyword groups set up, these different questions essentially, let's set up the responses. So I'll click on the red connector for each of these and drag it over to create the response. Here you'll notice, again, we only have public reply available. So the answer that you're setting up here will be a response in that comment thread. And for the text here, let's write something like for the price for the cost of this watch, this watch is $149. You can purchase it on our website. Of course, if we wanted to, we could add in a URL there and go from there. And I'll talk a little bit more about how you can make this more advanced after we go ahead and test this initial version. Okay, so we have this first response set up for the question relating to price and cost. And now let's set up a, just a blank response for this shipping question. So I'll do the same here and just uncheck this because we wanna have something set up, but we won't actually create the response here just for sake of time and demonstrational purposes. Okay, so now that we have all of this set up, all these keyword rules set up for this specific post, all we have left to do is click the toggle up here where it says inactive to enable it. 
And now we're good, now we're live. Anybody who comments these keywords on this post will get that response as expected. So let's switch over now to the phone and show you how this works. So here we go, I see this post as the user. Again, make sure you're commenting on the post from the user's perspective, you know, another profile, not the actual brand that you're using this chatbot on. And let's leave a comment. Let's just comment with that keyword price as an example and it should post here in a second, there we go. And I'm gonna go back and refresh this post and I'll see that response from ChatFuel. So there we go, automatically it answers the user's question, that keyword, so it says the watch is 149, you can purchase it on our website, great. Now if you wanna take this even a step further and make it more user friendly, here's a tip for you, because right now the downside is we're just telling them, hey, you can purchase it on our website, or we could include a link there, but links in Instagram comments are not clickable, so it's not the best user experience, right? They either have to you know, manually type that in their browser or go to the bio for the store and then search for that product. Not a great user experience. So what we could do instead, and I won't go through this entire process, but if you wanted to get more advanced, what you could do is in the response here, you could say this watch is 149, you can purchase it. And instead of saying just on our website, you could say, something like for more info, DM us the keyword classic watch, just as an example, and we could just make that essentially the response, right? For more info, DM us the keyword classic watch. So then the workflow would be the user sees this post, they comment their question, they get this response, and then even though we can't use the private reply, we can't DM the user currently with comments on a reply, we can encourage them to type this keyword, which we would set up here in the AI tab. And then once they do that, we can send them the URL to the product page in the DM. So then they click that, they get it, and again, they don't have to go through the website manually, navigate through, or type the URL in their browser. It's just a lot less friction in terms of the user experience, right? So that, in essence, is the comments auto reply entry point for Instagram. Obviously, again, all the features are not available just yet due to Instagram gradually rolling out this functionality. But again, still extremely powerful if you're doing e-commerce, if you are selling products, and you want to automate your customer service. So that's this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, until next time, happy botting.